to do first is we got to take the grill off and there are four little plastic clips that we just pop out you can use a trim tool or a flathead screwdriver these are just going to pull up like that and pull them out that is what you have and you have four of those Just got to be careful, you don't want to break these, they're supposed to be reusable. If they crack, most hardware stores will, most auto parts stores will have these, or something close enough at least. So there is those. <clears throat> now, I am going to have to actually remove my winch cable box quick. Okay, you are also going to need to remove these because you have to get under here to remove those bolts. Okay, once you get all eight of these push pins out, you need to lift this up and you can remove it. I'm just being lazy. Um, I don't want to pull my intake box off so you can lift this up and you have to remove four uh, 10 millimeter bolts under this panel okay I kind of got ahead of myself once you get those four bolts out you pop the sides out and then your whole grill will come out there we go so here is your grill next you are going to want to remove these to get this plate off. It looks like they are T25. And there are six of those. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and throw in our lights. So, the lights do have written on them where they go. So this one is for the middle. So there are seven slots. So right up here. Um, there we go. Just snaps on in there. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and put these in the very outside. So left. I guess I don't know what that means. I don't know. I got a left and a right. I don't know what means driver, what means passenger. We're gonna do it for the installer's sake. So I'm gonna put right on the driver's side. I'm gonna do left on the passenger side. Okay. Next. They all fit. So here is the back side. They are all in there. So again, left on the passenger side. I think I have this one in upside down. I sure do. And then right. Okay, so I need to pop this middle one out and make it right. Okay, flip that around. So now we have this wiring harness and it has
this connection and it's kind of a add a fuse so that'll go to the fuse box this goes to the battery and then everything else connects to your lights so we'll plug this in and you you want this you want to move all the slack you can to the driver's side because that is where the battery is so that's where we can connect it now <clears throat> we gotta put this cover back on and you want to get the wiring tucked up in there so that the wiring doesn't show. Okay, so you want to try and get your grill put into place. Um, mine's difficult just because my winch. But once you have it into place, you want to, don't force these clips in. Um, you want to make sure you line them up and if they're in the right place it's just going to take a little push there we go and it'll all fall into place you don't want to force those if you start forcing those plastic will break um, okay i'm going to go ahead and put these four bolts back in put all these clips in and then we'll finish up wiring okay so you have the wiring coming out the black post or black cable will go right there negative of the battery and then under the hood you want to remove this 10. Um, I don't see where these are labeled under here but we're gonna pull this out I know these are not the right players but okay there's your 10 millimeter fuse and we are going to take this we're going to just plug that in in its place maybe mm, okay Looks like we're going to have to do it facing this way. Okay, so you have your fuse in place. Um, and then looks like I don't quite have enough slack. Okay, I'm gonna have to split this wire loom a little bit to get more slack for the ground. Okay. So you got your fuse connected. You want to try and run your wiring in here as best you can. It looks like there are two little slots notched out <coughs> in the fuse box. I'm going to try and feed the wire out of those and then it's all connected. I'm going to tuck this all away and we should be all finished up. Okay, fuse box closed. Wire run along the side over there. That's all cleaned up. The lights are in and they look really good. Um, some people put them here and here. I chose for all the way out. Um, let's go ahead and close this hood. Now, how do these look? I'm going to turn the Bronco on. And there we go. 
They look pretty darn good in my opinion, and they're actually really bright too. So, tell me what you guys think. Is this something you're interested in? Are you going to do it to your Bronco? What do you think? Appreciate the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like and subscribe for next time.